Na semu ya wana uko piye mo e wa mrasebe dwe mua. Ubebe kase nka chichidi ya diye sura diye yefu wanka uwe fa humbe nka intakrabu wa nenya. Nenso edom kuma amana se asemu wamo beke mi ninyi nada ene se. Wamo su ura sej men sabu nsu wabe yebi. Eni pa be yebi wabe yeni nina nene wope niya. Yadina basa edom kese ya nebaa nidini wanoa ye futu mrasebe dwe ni athenjo makens no. Wamo su papa no wamo bona basu se newe nye jibre fufro e wufie honom. Nen so wamo su nsachra ye no aba no a e wame pipi wamo famu honom no. Wamo de wamo ti asye biya. He has gathered. He has gathered. In, he's one of the most experienced members of parliament we can think of. I think that since the fourth republic, he, if you want to mention about ten experienced members of parliament, I don't think that we can exclude him. He has demonstrated that. Many people would not even believe that he's not a lawyer, and he has gathered this experience because of the longevity. If he wasn't pushed out, then there won't be any problem. But if it is indeed he was pushed out, as is being rumored then that will create some problem. Mind you, you had no less a person than the first deputy speaker holding a press conference and challenging the decision to change. You know, and I remember in my response, I said, look, this could not just be a rumor for the first deputy speaker to have held a press conference to address a matter that people consider to be a rumor could not have been a rumor. How sensible is it to choose leaders for a group of people, assuming they are uncomfortable with those leaders? And I think that that was the same principle on which some of us raised questions about the choosing leaders. We are not saying the party shouldn't have hands, but there should be enormous consultation. So I'm not surprised because, you know, we started hearing the rumors that there was going to be a change in leadership of the majority side. And of course, we all heard the first deputy speaker and a few of the majority uh, members opposed to the move to change the majority leader. I was interviewed and I said that in principle, I think that it wasn't fair to change him at this time, especially when he was not consulted. This morning, my checks indicates that prior to the outburst, if I may put it that way, of the first deputy speaker, uh, the majority leader was consulted by the president. And it's interesting to note that he had even cooked a package for him, which in my, in my view is even going to bloat the size of government. We ene adom kuma mani bi wamon samu wamon kaa efa ene roa se eche men sabu nsu a wana adom wano wamra sebe dwe mkono mubi uwa ese roa Alexander Athenyo Markins wano ena wodi ni nkwi ewa we. Onuya, onuya, 95.1 FM. 95.1 FM. Yeah, jine mo.